I'm Scott Miller, and this city is my city, Chicago. And one thing I've learned here, the options of fun are endless. I've had the chance to meet a lot of interesting people in my career. Most of the people I've met have been pretty cool, and it got me thinking, how great would it be if I could take you with me and a special guest and check out some of the hot spots in Chicago, some of the hidden gems, maybe even some of the places I don't know about, and I could bring a special guest with me. We're gonna do it in this city, my city, sweet home, Chicago. My guest is my friend and mentor, the radio legend, Dick Biondi. Dick hasn't had a hot dog since before you and I were born, but he lives in a town where we have the most famous style of hot dog, the Chicago dog. So I thought it would be cool if we could stop and visit one of the most unique spots in Chicago. But don't mistake this place as just any other hot dog stand. Uh-uh, this is Hot Dugs. This is the Sausage Emporium. So I wanted to bring you to Hot Dugs. Okay. It's a Chicago institution. I know you're a fan of a hot dog. You eat one every week, right? <laughs> right. When's the last time you had a hot dog? When's the last time? About 30 years ago. 30 years ago. <laughs> well, this is an institution. Hot Dugs is the place to be in Chicago. Let's go meet Doug. Come on in. Okay. They don't have pizzas in here? Now take a look at the menu. Yeah, no, so yeah. the, the good thing about hot dogs is it's just not hot dogs. Yeah. It's open till like four o'clock every day. Uh -huh. There's a line the whole day. Wow. Doug, Dick, Dick, Doug. It is a pleasure to Thank meet you. you. I've listened to you for many, many years. Thank you. How many years have you been here? We've been here for we're closing in on twelve, wow. which is eleven and a half more than I thought. And then I'm not joking about. It. I thought six months I'm going to go have to get a job. But, is there uh, any hot dog place in the United States that has what you have here? There might be some now. <laughs> you know, I mean, at the time, no, and that's sort of how this happened. One of the coolest things that I noticed is Bon Appetit magazine said it's one of the 50 best joints on the planet. We're also on Anthony Bourdain's top 13 restaurants to go to before you die. It's, oh. it is beyond comprehension. What can we get for you? That's what we got to decide. Yeah. What, what should he get? I can tell what you this. Each? Well, I can tell you this. All right. He eats garlic. Yeah. Raw. Oh, not the worst thing. Get the Thuringer, the Norm Crosby. And how about you? I'm going to be a non-Chicagoan. That's all right. And get a, uh, a charred dog. Yes. What would you like on it? Ketchup. Yeah. Don't hit me. I do you know. There are no food rules. And mustard. You got it. Plain Jane. So Doug's uh, Hot Doug's has been around for 12 years. Right the Ides of March have been around for about 50 years. 40 something. One, two. <laughs> In the black sedan, I want you to hop inside my car. I got pictures, got candy, I'm the love of a man. Take it to the nearest stop. I'm your vehicle, baby. And take it anywhere you want to go. I'm your vehicle, mama. But now I'm sure you know that I love you, I need you, I want you, got to have your child. Great God in heaven, you know we love Jake Beyond it. Let's hear it for the Oscar hey, Come on, let's hear it. How did this start? When did you when did you know radio was even an option? When I was eight years old. What happened today? Because I was in uh, my Auburn, New York, and I was up there for the summer, and I found the radio station, and I kept going back every day because I thought it was fascinating. And then one day the guy in the booth waved me in, and he said, "Kid, can you read?" And I said, "Yeah." He said, "Here," and he gave me a piece of paper, and I read what was on it, and it was on the air. And it was, uh, when I got home, they said they heard me, and that was it. You keep coming back to it. You're on the air every single night. What is the motto that keeps bringing you back in the door into the Be studio? Because I like what I'm doing. That's the one thing I tell all the young guys. Whatever you do, if you want to stay in radio broadcasting, keep going after it until they let you be yourself. Uh, when I came back to WCFL in 67, and I'm on the air, and every night, I was out from uh, midnight till 5.30, at 1 o'clock, the phone would ring, and this woman would say, can you tell me what time it is? And she did that for two months, every single night. And I finally just said, 
can I ask you why? I said, I'm not trying. And she said, I just wanted to hear a man tell me good night before I go to sleep. The Beatles. You brought them on stage for the first time ever. How did it happen? No, I played their record for the first okay. time. Okay. In uh, February of 1963, it was the first time in the United States I played. It was called Please Please Me. And a very quick story. Uh, and that was in February. In May, I got fired. And I went, to, I went to L.A. and I brought the record with me. And my second night on the air, I played it. And the phone started ringing, and the kids started yelling, take that crap off and play the Beach Boys. <laughs> and now a year later, it was all, all, Beatles. Yeah, all Beatles. I like what I'm doing. I don't just like it. I love it. And the reason you keep doing it is I told him, because he, he's going to write a song about this. Yes. But uh, you do it, you, you're happy, you can't wait to go to work. And the reason is that love never dies. Chicago is unique. This is a town that has got the loyal audience, the most loyal audience of any place in the country. I know, I've been to all of them. But I mean, really. Uh, and, and the one thing that they like is having, they love personalities. You remember Wally Phillips, Howard Miller, all of these people had personality. And that's what they want. Come on, let's go. Okay. So I'll be listening to you tonight. Well, thank you. Can I get a shout out on the air? Can you thank us, Scott Miller, on the radio? Oh, yeah, definitely. And can you play an Ides of March song for me? Yeah, I think we can find it. Dick, I appreciate it. Thank you for everything you've done, and I'll be listening. Let's go this way. Nude Hippo has been a presentation of Opie Productions. It was fun. Purr.